It's time for A's Gaming Moments. Ziggurat. As well as being the name of ancient Mesopotamian stone pyramids, it was also the name of the first person roguelike game released onto the PlayStation in April 2015. Technically, it was a first person shooter. After all, it was in first person, and yes, you did shoot things. But very rarely did this game actually involve guns. No, instead, here, it was all about the magic wands. Yeah, forget about Harry Potter, Ziggurat's where the real wizards do battle. Something about the combat in this game felt very old school. There were four types of wizard weaponry. The default unlimited ammo wand. The shotgun like spellbooks. The staves. And the explosive alchemy weapons. Apart from the wand, the three other types of weapons each used their own type of ammo called mana. Running out of mana was common, but enemies would drop a pretty healthy amount of resupplies for you to pick up. It was a kind of shooter where you had to be constantly switching weapons to try and keep one step ahead of the ammo counters. Other than that though, the gameplay was pretty simple. It was your standard, addictive, roguelike stuff. You started on floor 1. To get to floor 2, you needed to kill a boss, but to unlock the boss, you needed to first scour the randomly generated floor in order to find a thing called a portal key. Most of the rooms contained a variety of minions such as killer carrots. Or of course, skeletons. Yeah, you know a game's good when it's got skeletons in it. All of the minions had to be killed before the room doors would open back up again. And to keep things feeling fresh, the rooms would often apply certain little modifiers to keep you on your toes, like frog mode, which quite literally kept you on your toes because it meant that you could only jump. There was also a small range of other types of room too, such as scavenge rooms, where you'd have to collect a bunch of purple stones before the enemies would stop spawning in. Or of course, there were the simple trap rooms. Also featured was the classic roguelike tradition of having a shrine room, where you could make offers to gods and risk getting either rewarded with a boost or punished with a nerf. And remember, an important life lesson can be learned in these rooms. Gambling doesn't always pay off. When Jim Bowen asks if you want to stick or gamble, sometimes it's best just to say, no Jim, no. Leveling up would typically provide an option of two different upgrades. These were nothing to get too excited about, usually just providing a slight stat increase, but as you tried and failed at Ziggurat, eventually new skill choices would be unlocked, as well as new items. Plus, by meeting certain requirements, new playable characters would also become available. And that's an important part of any good roguelike game, providing players with some kind of reward even though they died. It's all well and good starting from complete scratch at the beginning of each playthrough, but by unlocking new skills and always making progression towards new characters meant that even the failed runs at least helped towards achieving something. It helped keep the gameplay loop going, that same loop that makes players mumble, ah, okay, one more go. Ziggurat was full of nice little touches, little things like the way that the crosshair would indicate the enemy's health, or the way that the last few remaining enemies in a room could be seen through walls, preventing players from having to search around for them. And the speed of the character movement, while at first may have been a little bit jarring, did allow for fast exploration and stop the backtracking from getting too monotonous. But the single greatest addition to this game that most other roguelike games don't have was simple, a save function. No time to complete the whole game in one sitting? Then no problem, just save your progress and come back to it later. Simple, but it transformed Ziggurat from something that you needed an hour to play to something that you could just pick up and chip away at, bit by magical battling bit. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's video and if you did then click here to subscribe to A's Gaming Moments and as always, thanks for watching, see you next week.